Sir Thompson, yes. you are here in Bagnaia yes. for this uh, event. Uh, what do you think about uh, the role? Ah, ah, okay. Mr. Thompson, here in Bagnaia for this event, uh, Crescere tra le righe, mm. students, mm. editors and journalists uh, um, talks about the future of mm. this uh, world and this uh, journalism. What do you think about it? I think it's very important that young people uh, develop an instinct about news, about what's accurate, what's inaccurate, what's false, what's real. And the great opportunity they have here is to engage in a discussion about news and the character of news and the content of news that will help them and help their classmates uh, make important decisions about what's real and what's fake. What do you think about the um, Quotidiano in Classe project and do you think that it uh, could uh, uh, happen also in the United States? Yes, I, I know there are already discussions uh, taking place about that possibility and it's obviously been very successful uh, in Europe and uh, successful in a couple of ways. One, uh, assisting newspapers, but two, more importantly, uh, helping young people who are the, the future of, of Europe and the world. Which will be the future of the traditional media in the social media era, in your opinion? Well, it's clearly a challenge. Social media has profited from traditional media and traditional uh, media needs to make itself more contemporary. Uh, so there's a lot of debate about what responsibility social media has. Clearly I have strong views on that and think that, for example, Facebook should pay a carriage fee uh, for trusted publishers because clearly trusted content enhances Facebook's reputation and value. Uh, and, uh, but at the same time, publishers have to understand the digital age more clearly and take advantage of the opportunities uh, and uh, work to ensure that they're delivering news and other content in a way that readers want. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.